We're here on We Found You Music with Alex Mack. Back again on the show. She was Hi. here for our, her very first interview a few months back. Now she's here to perform stripped down versions of your tracks, which you can find on your debut EP, Like We're Famous. Yes. Um, so what did you play for us today? I played Sunglasses and Bad. All right, cool. And uh, so you've been getting a, a positive response lately from Billboard, Spin, just recently on the BuzzFeed list. Kind of talk about the response that this debut EP has uh, been getting. It's crazy. Like, yeah. I didn't think that any of that was going to like come to fruit. Like, happen or come to fruition or whatever. Um, when I did it, it was just kind of like, okay, let me create something that is true to myself and hopefully um, other young people would be able to relate. Mm -hmm. And that kind of happened. And then it's kind of just, I don't even know how. <laughs> yeah, no, I think you're right. The lyrics are very relatable. Yeah. It's kind of a fun, upbeat, Alt pop sound. Um, BuzzFeed just put it on their uh, whatever it was top thirty uh, underrated pop songs of the year. Absolutely insane. With I a lot of other that. artists we play all the time, so it was definitely a great list. Yeah, it was so an you, honor. You probably got some great response. Talk about like your your interaction with your fans. I, I know you've been thanking a lot of them lately. They're so amazing. Um, I've nicknamed them the Mac Daddies. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I actually have like a jacket and it says Mac Daddies on the yeah. back. Um, no, they're incredible. Um, this girl, uh, her name's Julia. She um, found me, I guess, a little bit back on Twitter mm -hmm. and she just started spreading the word to a bunch of her friends. And I mean, wow. um, where's she based? Or I guess we Ooh. shouldn't say that. Yeah, I don't exactly. <laughs> I want to say Florida, Florida okay. or maybe Portland. It was one of the two. I don't remember. Um, but it just kind of like spread through her and her friends and then other people just like finding it online. And everyone's been really amazing. And like I, I tweeted the other night and you tweeted back at me. I was like, I would like to think of something else other than thank you to yeah. say. But yeah. it's like, how? Like, mm -hmm. I'm so beyond thankful. And it's like. I could, it, Twitter's only 150 letters or whatever, <laughs> so I'm like, can't. 140. Oh, is it? Uh, okay, yeah. see? But, I mean, it, it's, it's cool that you're interacting with your fans and you're getting a response and you're building a fan base, which yeah. is great so early on. And I think it's important that you're interacting with them and just I love of, them. I'm like, tweet me, talk to me. You guys are fucking awesome. Every little so. bit counts. Yeah. So. That's cool. Your your latest music video and single was Red Eyes, mm -hmm. which I'm a big fan of, <laughs> as you know. What's that about? And then talk about the music video that's out now. Okay, so the song, uh, I wrote it with um, this girl named Fan and this guy named Chris Bernard who produced it. Um, and we, like, essentially, like, sat down and we kind of, like, wrote it about a breakup. It was. It's kind of, like, about a girl. Well, not kind of. It is about a girl mm -hmm. who is, like, with this guy, and he kind of doesn't really accept her, not wild lifestyle, but, like, her freedom, the fact that she's comfortable with who she is and her sexuality and all that. Um, so that's what the song is about, and I wanted to kind of, like, put a twist in the video to where gender roles were switched. So a group of me and my girlfriends and... A very sexy gay man that is one of my very good friends um everyone in the video was uh all friends um where we kidnapped the guy and kind of uh brought him into our world and towards the end he like is very accepting of uh these free spirits oh okay cool so that was the idea it's a it's a very nice video it's cool thank you um and then you've been performing more and more lately uh you played tiger heat for yes. about a thousand fans talk about that that you know it was quite a large venue to perform at it was really cool i, I could tell that um some of the people were uh like what the fuck why'd you turn off the music like mm -hmm. what's going mm -hmm. on and then as the you know performance went on people were like really getting into it some yeah. people knew some of the words to bad which was completely insane um, cool. It was so much fun, and then this guy jumped on stage in the middle of my performance and was like trying to sing with me, which was really, really funny. Yeah, my best friend ran on and like grabbed him and like pulled him <laughs> off. Like no one did anything; they just thought it was part of the show. That was a true friend. Yeah, your, your best friend slash bouncer. Yeah, exactly, and he was way smaller than the guy. Yeah, th amazing. things can go a little haywire there, at Tiger Heat. But mm -hmm. um, that's cool. Just getting the the your name out there, and you you played Sayers Club recently. That was right? amazing. Yeah, it's a cool yeah. venue. Sarah's Club was awesome. And uh, I'm sure you'll be playing a lot more in the future, right? Live. 
Right on. Uh, let's see. So you just recently played at the VH1 Save the Music live show. Yeah. Uh, that seemed like a pretty cool experience. It was really cool. Um, I felt uh, super connected to uh, the cause because when I was a kid, no music in my school. Like, we had maybe choir for like mm -hmm. two years, but um, I was kind of an outcast because that wasn't really... Um, they didn't believe in like cultivating that at, at my school. It was like you were a jock or a cheerleader or something. Wow. And I was, it was like me and three other friends that were really into music and um, you just had no no room to grow, so. Yeah, I know it's a very important cause. Yeah. So I'm sure, it seemed like there was some, some cool names on there, right? Yeah, it was, it was like such a like yeah. surreal experience. Must be, you know, fun to perform with these other people. Uh -huh. uh, you're collaborating with John Dahlbeck. Uh, count to ten. It looks like yeah. you received some support from a lot of different people. Yeah, Avicii just played it on his radio show, which was crazy. Um, who else has played it? I, I don't know. APEC. Like, mm -hmm. I, it's just been insane. Um, John is really cool. Mm -hmm. He wanted to do something uh, more pop, um, and he had heard my top line or whatever, and he was like, "That's it." So it was fun collaborating cool. with him. Count to ten. So so how do you feel about collaborations? Uh, you know, it can only help, right? I love it. Well, yeah. my whole thing is like I have I'm I have so many different sides to me. Yeah. So I'm like, however I can um, uh, live out all those different personalities is fun. So. Absolutely cool. So what's next? You or you think you're going to be releasing another EP down the line? I do. I think um, play some shows after the new year and uh, release some new music by summertime. All right, awesome. Your EP is Like We're Famous, mm -hmm. out now. Look for the uh, Red Eyes music video, and uh, you know, just look for new music coming up, right? Yeah. Cool, yeah. Alex Mack on We Found New Music.